Hello, beautiful people. This is your girl, Mommy So True. How are you doing today? I am here checking in with you, my warriors, my survivors, and those of you who have been victimized by narcissistic abuse. But God is good because so many are the ones who got away. In today's video, I am talking to you. I'm even talking to those who may still be attached to a narcissist in some kind of way but they will eventually be the one who got away. What makes them so special? What makes the one who got away so special? <laughs> Man, without being ignorant about it, the real answer is everything. But let's talk about it, y'all. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you're not missing my weekly videos. And check out the memberships, check out the merchandise, and check out my life coaching sessions if you need that in your life right now. I am here as a survivor, but also as a human being who is here to help coach you into knowing that it's okay to be a human being, something that narcissistic abuse will rip from your soul. So what makes the one who got away so special? Like I said, everything. But let me get more in depth with that because a lot of people, you know, like to be smart, like to be funny. So let me get, let me get in depth and let you know why you're special for getting away from a narcissist. Whether it's your parent, whether it's a spousal relationship, whether it's a family member that you've been living with or that you've known, whoever this person is, if you got to the point where you pulled those scissors out and you cut that life support that you've been, you know, giving them, all that supply you've been giving them, the good you that you've been giving them, even in your most imperfect moments, you're still a great person. You're an awesome human being. Everything about you makes someone inspired to live. What makes you so special? You're not only anointed, <laughs> you're not only anointed, but you are a lover, a lover. So many people don't realize what a gift it is to love. Love is rare. True love is rare. The one who gets away takes their rare love and get away because the one who gets away like i said is anointed and what does that mean it means that they carry a gift it means that they know they're not supposed to be with a narcissist it means that they don't get along they can't connect and they can never be on the same level with a narcissist to be anointed means you have a different type of heart. You carry a different type of light. That's why you end up being the one who hurts the most. Because you take love seriously. The word unconditional is you. You're so compassionate. You're so forgiving. You're so patient. You're so kind. You're so kind. I'm not talking about just giving people money because they need help. I'm talking about you love so much that you kindly love those that are not even worthy of you. It's only an anointed person who can find ways to still love someone like a narcissist. What makes you so special for getting away is you had to fight that. You had to step in and battle with yourself. This is such a challenge. The one who got away is so special because in spite of what they felt they were doing for this person, in spite of how much they wanted to give and how much they wanted to fix the person, because that's what empaths think they are. They think they are people fixers. The one who got away finally connected the dots and saw that they cannot fix this person. They actually cannot fix anybody but themselves. 
That's what made you so special when you finally came to the realization that what you're going through has nothing to do with you, the narcissist, or the pain that you're enduring. It has everything to do with the God inside of you. And in order to bring peace to that God, you had to get away from that demon. You had to pack your bags and leave hell alone because you don't belong there. You're so special. There's nothing that fits your world if a narcissist is in it. You're so special. Life is chaotic. Life seems discombobulated. And life seems like it doesn't go anywhere when you're connected to a narcissist. Because you are so special. You don't need that in your life. You don't need that type of energy in your life. To be anointed and to be with a narcissist is, is disastrous because it holds you back from your purpose. It keeps you from walking alive because everything about what they do to you kills you slowly but surely. To be anointed and to be with a narcissist, you cannot see what you need to see because you'll be blinded with sadness all the time. You'll be blinded with confusion all the time. The one that got away is so special because they disconnect themselves from these demons. No matter the price, no matter how hard it is, the one who gets away is special because they are willing to fight. They are willing to go through it. They are willing to be patient while they're enduring it, while they're living with them because they know that at the appointed time, they better get their anointed selves up and get out of the situation. At the appointed time, they know they have to muster up some strength to walk away. Because after, after these 20, 30, 40 years, you've served and you've served and you've served. But you realized this is not where you're supposed to be serving. No matter how long you end up with a narcissist, the moment you wake up, the moment you rise, the moment you choose to disconnect, the moment you choose to walk away and free yourself, it's the moment you identify how special you are. It's the moment you confirm and accept how special you are and that you've always been that. And you're so special, you end up being the one who's hurting at the end. Because being special means you are an unconditional lover. It means you didn't turn and you don't turn nobody away. You are the walking replica of who they call Jesus Christ. That is what makes you so special. It seems like you're this empath and you're this chosen one who attracts narcissists and who's always trauma bonded in relationships. <laughs> but that's because of the type of lover you are. We miss red flags because we're lovers. It's not just because of trauma. It's not because we're weak and dumb. Is because we're soulful, genuine, unconditional lovers. We're looking at the narcissist who we met that had nothing and we see how they could potentially have everything. We're looking at the narcissistic parent who can't seem to love and is completely miserable in their life. But we seem to have compassion and say prayers for them. These are the type of people that we are. This is what makes us special. This is why taking our power back is so liberating and victorious for the one who got away and the one who gets away. Everything about a narcissist is a joke, is a game, and it's all pretend. And no matter how much you may have thought you loved them, no matter how much, you know, you thought this was love. Eventually, the one who gets away snaps out of that foolishness. 
Even if you think it's still love, you're just going to take it and run away and keep it with you. <laughs> Find somewhere to store it, lock it up, and love them from a distance. You're so special because you understand that you love them enough to leave them where they're at. You love them enough to disconnect yourself because they're dragging you down. They're pulling you down. Your life is stagnant as long as you stay connected. This is what makes you so special. Understanding the power of taking your life back. Understanding that there is only one you. Understanding that there is only one fingerprint in this world made for you. There is no other you. Nobody can replicate you. The one who got away is so special because you've, let a, you've left a narcissist somewhere permanently scratching their head for the rest of their life, trying to figure out how you got away, <laughs> trying to figure out how they can make another one of you, and trying to figure out how the hell you somewhere, still alive, still breathing, still making it, and moving on. How did you, how did you find a way to, to be happy after everything that narcissist did to you? You're truly special. You're finding ways to find happiness after everything you just went through. Most people who have been wearing your shoes and who are wearing your shoes has contemplated and has completed suicide. Most people are locked up somewhere in somebody's mental institution popping pills because they are convinced that they're schizophrenic, bipolar, and all this other BS, all these other demonic diseases and disorders. The one who got away is the one who finally sees that this is not a narcissistic disorder. This is a spiritual attack. These problems are spiritual. And you're so special, you see that. You start to see and understand that. It takes a special eye. It's the truth seers that survive these evil doers. Because one thing about it, evil will always exist and evil will always try to get people. That's why I say the one who got away is so special because you didn't just attract a narcissist because of your past and because you're so nice. No, this is the world we live in. Evil just exists and it is what it is. This can happen to anybody, especially to a real one. But a real one is so real, eventually, they figure it out. They get educated. They learn. And they find a way to get away. They find a way to get away. They learn, wow, it's not me, it's you. It's always been you. I'm not the problem. And, and you're even more special. You feel, you feel and you see what it is you need to work on. So now you've developed an even better version of yourself after dealing with narcissistic abuse. How special are you for real? Let's talk about it. You're an amazing person and, and the abuse keeps adding on to it. That's what makes you so special. After fighting all this depression, all this pain, all this anxiety, you still standing as solid as a rock and you're more beautiful than ever. You're so special. So many of you are the reason why a narcissist is somewhere watching these same videos you are because they're stuck on recognizing that they're flawed because of you. They're stuck on having to face themselves every day because you got away from them and they can't figure out how their master manipulative tactics did not work on you. They can't figure out how 20 years of work on you did not kill you or leave you broken enough to stay stuck and glued to them. So now they're somewhere in their mad science lab trying to figure out how they can really get the next victim. Because you got away. There's something so special about the one who got away that it's, it's, it's almost impossible for me to explain it in a few minutes. You're truly powerful for escaping a narcissist. You're powerful for noticing a narcissist. So many people are watching these videos and are still blind to what's happening to them. 
people get on here, watch these videos for a while, get intimidated, get scared, get off of YouTube for months, and they're right back with that demon going through that same wash, rinse, repeat cycle. And they're doing it forever because they're finding ways to convince themselves to stay. They're finding ways to convince themselves that the person is not that bad. They're finding, their, they're finding ways to convince themselves that maybe they're the problem anyway. And they've always been. But you, you ain't going for that. Even in your weak moments when you're not talking good to yourself, you're talking good to yourself. You're not weak. There's nothing weak about you. Being a hardcore lover doesn't make you weak. It, it might have made you look foolish. It might have caused some embarrassment because you gave it to the wrong one. But so what? Giving it to the wrong one actually ended up helping you build your character. Adding on to that magnificent being that you are. What makes the one who got away so special? They got away. And the one who got away it's usually the one who stays away. That means there's no easy hoovers. <laughs> the one who got away, when they get away, there, there, there is no, there's no more that version of them. You're so special. You've knocked away the old you. You're introducing the brand new you. And you've become so resilient, so strong and wise that you could care less who don't want to get with the program? You can care less who don't understand it. You're so special. You've allowed the pain to connect you to your first and your only true love, God. Hmm. The one who got away is so special. You are a truth seer. And now you're probably a truth teller <laughs> like me. If this video resonates with you today, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment, share the video. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. We're all here to thrive together. We're on this healing journey together. And we're here in this community to motivate each other, to impact each other, to inspire each other, and to remind each other we're not alone. And to let each other know as many times as we can, however often we can, that we're all winners. If you're watching videos like this, you're truly a winner. If you're trying to come up with a game plan to escape a narcissist, you've already won because you've already figured them out. If you've gotten away and you're staying away, you're triumphant and you are amazing. You are victorious. And I am proud to know that someone like you is out there because you motivate me to stand tall. I love you guys. And I appreciate you all. And I encourage you to keep pushing and to keep thriving. And I know it's not easy. But know that you are special. Everything about you is special. That's why they are coming for you. That's why they've came for you your whole life. And that's why they keep trying you. You have so much light. They can't stand it. But the one who got away is so special because when they see in, when they see their light and they start to carry it, oh, it's a whole new ball game. It's a whole new narrative now. It's a whole new chapter of your life. Embrace it. Embracing change can be difficult. As you're surviving narcissistic abuse, this can be an, an, an this could be a difficult transition. But as you stay on this course, you realize how blessed you are. You've been anointed enough to endure this for a reason. God is not the reason why a narcissist is in your life or why a narcissist stayed in your life forever. No, God knows these people exist. God also knows what he put inside of you for you to fight against them. Because the gates of hell will always exist. It will always be consistent. They'll always try to hurt you. They'll always try to come for you. They will always attack you. But they cannot prevail against you. There is no succeeding because you're involved. 
That's why for so many narcissists, because they mess with you, their karma is a major bitch. Until next time, guys, much love and much light. Stay true. Bye, guys.